work this vessel in the time that we're allowed to work it in. So if this ship is set, this shipping, for example, is set to sail uh, tomorrow at five. So we have to work so many cranes against the ship in order to, to get all the cargo off and back on again. And so then we have to work them in succession in order to fit that many cranes on it. It's kind of like a puzzle piece. So you, you work one bay and then you move so the other crane can get into the adjacent bay. Um, which causes us some delays in getting certain cargo off. But for the most part, this ship will be, is discharged in 48 hours and everything is off and then we're loading it back after that. So this ship, I think, is, uh, is 16 across. So 16 across and, and 6 high on deck and 16 across below, or uh, take it back, 14 across below deck and then 9 high. So there's a significant amount of containers in there. No, okay. So. So what happens is the cranes are on rails, like a track system. We can't kind of see it from where we're at, but uh, they they move around like a, on a rail rail car. We'll, we'll go over to the the Berth 100 where there's no ship, and we can get really close to the cranes, and you can see them a little bit closer. Uh, but because this is an active operation, I don't want to get that. In. So for the question is, do we do security on uh, on every box? And uh, the answer is no. We don't security check every box. Uh, there's a percentage that Customs wants to check, and that's predetermined in the manifest information. And then we, we take that to our exam doc, which we'll go check out in just a second. Um, but the uh, <clears throat> what we do is every can that does leave the facility by gate or rail goes through RPM. So it, uh, the, the radiation portal monitoring system that Customs sets up. So there is some monitoring, but not every can is open. Uh, less than 3% of the cans are actually popped by customs or scanned directly by customs on dock. You